Hey guys, welcome back to the Celtic Let's Play on Football Manager 2013 Celtic in the Premier League. And yes, I know it's been a while since I've made one of these videos, and I do apologise for that. Um, I was in um, I, the idea was I was going to make a um, video about saying, "Oh, uh, hit, tell me what transfers you want uh, want me to do," and that was it. But I thought I'd just tag it on to the end of the last video, maybe take a week's break from it, you know, let all the comments stockpile so I could see who I should buy. Um, but I, I took a little longer than I thought. Um, I don't know. I just I think I got involved really in the Arsenal slash Dortmund save and didn't want to really move from that. Also, I've not really been in the mood lately to make commentaries. I am now. Why I'm making it. Um, but yeah. So apologise for delay. Things are now back to normal. Uh, so this is then the third round FA Cup tie at Celtic Park against Stoke. Um, we're going to be playing Watt and Hooper up front. Mulgrew Manyama. Also, incidentally, uh, obviously, it's the 5th of January. I'm, I'm doing transfers now. It, not None can go through yet since the game moved on at a pace, so I, I can't actually make any yet. The, they're currently in process, but as the game goes on, I'll alert you and tell you about certain signings. They've got Michael Owen. Michael Owen. Michael fucking Owen up front. I don't believe it. <laughs> he scores, man. Um, and Peter Crouch, who is actually really fucking good on this. Strange. Um, I, I mean, I don't just mean FM thirteen. I mean good. I mean uh, one. God, what, 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 what was that? I think it was the Scotland save I did um, on FM twelve. You know, during Euro twenty twelve. Um, we I I played that and we simmed basically the first Premier League season and Crouch finished top goal scorer. And I was just incredibly confused. And no, I don't mean top goal scorer by a little bit. I mean by a margin. And Stoke finished like third. See, look at that pace. As if Crouch has got that pace. No chance. Absolutely no chance. Um, in terms of the FA Cup, though, I'm not too bothered by it. I mean, if we lose here, then we lose. Yeah, simple as that. But if we win, hey, you know, if we get a good draw next, we'll see. We go. We might get someone from the third division or something. Who knows? Um, or League 2 as of course it's known I really should probably just call it that and that is an absolutely appalling header by Watt I don't know what he was trying to do there really not good I hate just the timid little things they do sometimes oof Mulgrew with a half decent free kick there test the, I thought it might test uh, Begovic a little bit of course Belgovic who we are potentially or supposedly at least interested in signing uh, Liverpool and would I take him? Absolutely. And quite frankly, at the moment, I'm warming to the idea of Asmir Begovic because um, I think if Pepe Reina is going to stay, why hasn't he fucking said it already? Why doesn't, you know, if he's happy here, why doesn't he just come out and say it? There's tons of press speculation. He's, you know, his name's getting thrown about all over the place saying to Barcelona. Why don't he just stop saying, do you know what? I don't think I could say no to Barcelona. Why don't you just tell us then that you're going to fucking stay or you're going to fucking go? One or the other, because we need to sign a new goalkeeper. It's kind of an important position. And that was off the line from Scott Brown there. Uh, it's been uh, quite even at the moment. Let's see what Lustig can do with this ball. So find Gary Hooper. And the, the main uh, area I'm going to be strengthening, by the way, I say is going to be um, uh, strikers. That's the main one, just to point out. And I've got a few lined up already, so you'll find out who they will be in the coming episodes once the uh, transfers gets done. There's a chance for what? Oh, he should have scored. Not the best shot in the world from Tony Watt. It's nil nil. Still in it. Maybe he should go attacking, I think. Say assertively. Uh, keep going up there, I think. Tony Watt, right, come on. You. Gain confidence. That's what I want to say. I'm going to go attacking. People are wondering if I should take my Dortmund save, uh, sorry, Dortmund tactics to this save. Uh, I might do in the future. We'll see. So yeah, I mean, the first half of the season has been okay, um, but obviously I think it could have been a hell of a lot better. And you know, a lot of people expect Celtic, you know, to finish sort of maybe mid table so I'm not doing too badly, I guess. All uh, right, what have we got? I think being attacking. We should probably make more chances of this half, but I'm just curious as to see if the sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to analyse like where the positions are as well. Uh, trying to see if the defensive will, if the defensive line will come up and call a uh, Carlton call. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'll push higher up as well. We'll try that. There's really nothing's happening to be honest, and it's all moving on a pace. 
Uh, come on, bring Forrest on, and go on. Try and avoid the inevitable run, Forrest, run. <laughs> wow, it really is moving on at pace. 74th minute, it's only just, it's only just started the second half and it's 74th minute. So the, the 74th minute, I should say. Right, chance for Forrest. Nope, it's going to be intercepted by Solly. Who I've never heard of. <laughs> And there's Colback as well. So there obviously has been a few transfers. I mean, I personally don't keep up with them or anything on this game because most of them are crap. Here's a chance for Watts. Again, I think I might change, take him off. Yeah, go on, I'll bring Johnston on. I'll give him a go. I mean, Watt, Watt's had his opportunities. He hasn't taken them. Two great chances. Probably more than that, actually. Um, and he hasn't taken them, so I'll give Danny Johnston a chance. And hey, this is what the FA Cup's all about, you know, give the uh, youngsters a chance, or the, the cup competitions in general, and who knows, it might, might actually work. And he is now on the ball. He went to one yard, a power for it. Oh, no, that's not a good ball. <laughs> Gonna find Johnston with that. Anyway, chance for Scott Brown to push it. Oh, it was close. Lush dig, though. Johnston, there you go. Chance taken from Denny Johnston. I mean, I know he's only young, but as I say, that's what the FA Cup's all about, man. Right, let's go back to standard. And let's not push higher up anymore since we're not in desperate need of a goal. There you go, James Forrest now. What can he do here? No, ho hopefully he'll still be as effective as he was before his big injury. So he was just running this team. There's Gary Hooper. That, if we can get a second one, that would finish it off. Now, Dubious, not being funny, but he did seem to take his leg away. <laughs> Even I can see that. I'm watching it in 2D. Right, Scott Brown. Ooh, thank you much again. I'm always waiting. I'm waiting for the day when a goalkeeper drops it over the line. You know, when, like, they handle it. And, like, it, the ball bounces, but it, like, will, like, basically drop it. I mean, if, if that's ever happened to you, please say, like, you know, a goalkeeper just does something utterly ridiculous. Like, like, like that. Just drop the ball over the line. Ooh, Hooper. Nope, it's a good save. The Hooper was going to head that, but I don't think it would have counted, actually, because uh, usually when a striker and a keeper come together, the, the foul... Is always given on the for the uh, foul on the goalkeeper. Right, let's make one last change. Um, oh, we'll take Lustig off. I think we'll bring on Adam Matthews, as he does appear to be injured. Let's not uh, make that any worse than what it is. Okay, so we're going into either time, and hopefully it'll. No, it's not going to jump straight back. And I really could do without a replay. Hopefully, if oh, hang on, Gary Hooper's away. This will finish the deal. Gary Hooper misses. Oh dear, you've got to take those chances. But I think that should be it, unless one maybe final chance here for Stoke. I really, there we go, that should be it. That really should be it now, ref. Come on, nice play from Matthews. Come on, keep ball. <laughs> Referee, thank you, there we go, dear me, how long would you want to play? So there we go, 1 0 victory over Stoke, not bad, good win, keep the morale up. And as you can see, it's rising all the time. Dominated the game, really. Uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. FC United versus Celtic Reserves. God, how much do I not want to watch that? Norwich beat Arsenal 3-0. Okay, and Black... Wow, Tom Hintz. 92nd minute against Man United. Bit of taste of the old medicine there. Charlton against QPR. York against Colchester. Crystal Palace 2-2 against City. 6-0, let's go at Ryan. Alright, problem straight away. Jamie Carragher scored, McLaughlin scored, and Barini scored. What the hell is going on? Totally inaccurate and untrue to real life. Um What else? Any good funny results? Always some funny results. Wow, Jay Rodriguez scored four. Jesus. Tramia four against Huddersfield? God. That's not too far from truth, I guess. Uh happened this season, or the season just gone, I suppose now. Wow. Cobblers are still in it. A uh, gettable team. So, yeah, some strange results. Very strange results. Big boys going out. Or, you know, or teetering, shall we say. Arsenal and United both out. So this is now certainly a winnable competition. Oh, God. Speaking of big boys coming up next. Jesus. Oh, boy. <laughs> so if you need to remind yourself about the Premier League table, however, this is how it currently stands. Obviously, you know, we're six points clear of 18th Fulham there. Uh, but there's still a long way to go. And I'm hoping that we can eventually force ourselves into the top half. That's what, If we finish in the top half, I'll be reasonably happy. So um, that's going to do it for me for now. So next game, then, is going to be against City. 
once in a week's time and I'll be back with that live. So thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.